It's been a few weeks now since I got this pair of gaming headset and this is the Plantronics rig headset and there is something unique about this that really stands out compared to other gaming headsets. Let me tell you why. I'm Jens Garcia from tech for geeks with a full review of the rig headset by Plantronics. <laughs> First of all, if you haven't heard of Plantronics, they make audio communication equipment, so not just gaming headsets, but also Bluetooth earphones and earpiece. Now they've also manufactured the Gamecom 780 and the Commander headsets, and so that's just a little bit of a background about them. Now the rig headset certainly doesn't look like a full-on gaming headset, and I mean take a look at these other gaming headsets like the TT Esports uh, Chow and Razer Kraken Pro, which look specifically just for gaming. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because the rig headset isn't actually just for gaming. You can also use this to listen to music using your media devices, so uh, if you have phones or iPhone, iPods, then you can use it for that. And you get a separate cable with that, which means that the microphone is also detachable. Now you can get these into two different colors, such as black and obviously the one we got here, which is white. Now these are powered by 40mm drivers. The ear cup paddings are memory foam, and this is the most comfortable headset that I've used. My friends have used this and basically they've all said the same thing. The headrest feels very hard when you actually feel it, but when you actually put it on your head, you wouldn't even be able to feel it. The rig is really sturdy and durable, and I guess even if you drop it, it won't break easily, although if you actually stretch it too much, then you will most likely deform the headset, like when one of the reps actually tried stretching it, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I thought that's just something that I needed to point out. The microphone is great for a gaming headset, and it is very sensitive, so just the moment you touch it, you'll actually like going to uh, hear it and but yeah apart from that it's actually really good and as I've said for a gaming headset it's not gonna let you down and in fact instead of me just talking about it let me play the audio test using the microphone all right so what you're hearing right now is basically coming from Plantronics rig headset and that's the detachable uh, microphone now the great thing about this is the fact that it's actually noise cancelling microphone which means it's going to block uh, almost well almost most of the noise that you're hearing around you which is good and especially if you are doing uh, Skype calls or video calls then you're gonna need something like that but yeah, it's really clear um, it's obviously not as great as compared to you know your condenser microphones but for gaming this is really really good and as you can hear it's crisp and you can hear every, like all my words that i'm saying my breath as well and for uh calling actually this actually works really well i've tried it on my phone uh, i was calling a few of my friends my uh, family and yeah, it's really really impressive especially with the rig and the fact that you can actually call and at the same time play so that's really really important so that's basically the audio quality test on the plantronics rig headset all right, so that's that, but let's take a look at what really makes this rig headset. So this is the mixer that comes with it, and this is where the cool things happen. You have these cables on the back that connects directly to the phone, and on your PC or Xbox 360 or PS3, depending on what you're using. Now just keep in mind that these aren't gonna work on Xbox One and PS4. That's all powered by USB, so you don't need any power outlet for this, and you will also notice that there's the optical input for audio, and although that's just optional. Looking at the front, you have the two jacks, and one of them is actually connected to the headset, and then the other one, which is the tiny one, is connected to the controller. So you probably are asking about the dials and switches and their purposes. So first of all is the huge dial. Now this is basically your master volume and it communicates with the phone switch as well as the gaming switch. And this is also your on and off switch. So yeah, that's basically that. And then here are your switches. Now with the switches, you will be able to control the volume for calls or voice chat and your game sound without the person on the phone actually hearing your gameplay. And that's very smart. And I don't know any other headsets that actually does that. So if you have a problem with your girlfriend trying to call you, but you don't want to get distracted, then there you go, problem solved. Now you have buttons as well for stopping calls, muting the microphone, and last but not the least is the equalizer. 
Now, there are three different modes to choose from, such as pure, intense, and explosive. Now, I had trouble detecting what modes that I was actually using because there are no software or any LED lights that will tell you whether you are using intense or explosive, for example. So I thought that's something that needs to be included on the next generation of the rig headset. So I was only basing it on what I think sounded the best. But even though I was playing around with it, it's really hard to tell the differences between the three. Now, I found the headset to be great when listening to a lot of acoustic and pop songs where it really doesn't require a lot of bass and you just want to hear a lot more of the vocals and all the instrumentals but if you listen to a lot of electronic or electro pop then you might be a little disappointed. It really lacks of bass in my opinion which then leads us to its sound quality when playing games. Now I found the sound to be well, comparable to other gaming headsets like the Turtle Beach PX3, for example, and although the rig has a slightly clearer sound and has a slightly better bass, I haven't compared it to higher-end gaming headsets, so I can't really comment on that, but overall, the fact that these actually sound a lot better than other mobile headsets is a winner. And if you don't really care about the bass and you just want to you know be able to listen to your favorite tracks then this will do the job for you that's for sure so that's the plantronics rig headset for 149 australian dollars or 129 if you live in the us then i don't see why you wouldn't like these headphones or headset whatever you want to call it the mixer is a killer accessory in the package and you can still do your calls while enjoying playing your favorite games at the same time and that to me is a really neat feature if you enjoyed this review, then definitely make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. All the links will be in the description box below. As always, I'm Jens Garcia from Tech for Geeks, and I'll see you all in the next one.